That's it. That's the blue balls. <laughs> the blue ball. You two, what's up? Silent Mike, welcome to my household. Seabass is in here. I'm watching some bullshit, trying to really up my second career. Meanwhile, designing for June. Final touches on June drop. We're gonna hopefully have a May drop, just tease. A couple of little baby capsule and then a full, full drop that I think is probably our hottest shit yet. And I know everyone says that, but my ultimate goal, obviously with the small batch clothing, is to make each one hotter and hotter. So, um, final touches on June, and then I guess we got like back and buy stuff. But to the steak and potatoes, we failed, dude. We had Omar Esau front through town. We had the competition that we had to run, and a lot of chaos happened at the gym. Seabass has been working his tail off. I've been just everywhere. I went to LA to shoot JK. And meanwhile, my diet, my nutrition's been solid. The continuity of the vlog was a little bit left behind because I wanted to capture everything else we were doing, right? So we did some stuff with Omar, obviously Bart. Everyone's been running around. Um, and again, I have been dieting. I've been eating whole foods, which I've talked to you about when I dropped from 255, my heaviest ever, down to 195 last year. Um, phase one for me is not as important to lose weight or diet, it's how to build my habits. And so for me, those habits have been go back to whole foods, stop eating out as much, and when I do eat out, make better choices, start cooking my food, and to get uh, back up on my protein. Not that I wasn't, I was doing decently when we were doing the deadlift program, I'm still eating a good amount, but long story short, I built those habits pretty decent, and I've probably lost eight pounds or so. Now, we're gonna cut cut. How many pounds can I lose in 30 days? It is February 25th. So we'll go to about the end of March. Um, I'm 208 in the morning right now. And I'm actually one of the leaner 208s I've ever been, which is good. Little abs just starting to poke through. I've been loosely checking my head. I can show you the fridge if you want, but I just cooked like eight pounds of chicken thigh and I got a bunch of uh, broccoli and spinach rocking and rolling. Um, so we're pretty set up for the next couple days. We leave in about a week. So I'm gonna really lock in these seven days and then do the best we can with trip. Let's head to the gym. A lot, yeah, yeah, but I might be able to get hard. down to like that'd be a cool goal. 198. We're obviously gonna be walking a little bit more. I've been doing cardio here, and then maybe we'll do a diet break or so when I come back, just like a week of maintenance, and then get back into it and probably add some cardio. So, yeah, we'll see what y'all think. But eight to ten, we'll try to get some progress pictures up with a nice Italian tummy and see where we're at. But it was about 208 today, and besides this, I know I was just talking about non processed foods, but I've been having like a little bit of carbs here because then a lot of carbs that I eat at home are just like random carbs, you know, like spinach and whatever's like sitting in random shit rather than um, actually eating like a fat carb source. So I feel pretty good that way. Just really focusing on my protein and having carbs and fat being moderate. When I really cut, I'll cut the fat down and still keep carbs moderate, protein high. And that's kind of the method for now. The other thing for me that's a struggle, and maybe you guys can relate, when it's hella cold, I struggle drinking water. Um, I, I do okay, but in the summers I'm chugging. Sacramento gets uh, 90s to 100s all summer, mostly 100s. It's really hot up here, we're in the valley. And so that's easy for me to be in the gym and sweating and chugging water, riding my bike, chugging water. But when the winter it's cold, I just don't think about it as much. I'm just not like mentally as thirsty, although obviously my body still needs it. So that helps a lot when you're dieting as well. Obviously metabolism and stuff needs water, your body needs water, your brain needs water. But it also helps you feel full. Um, so that's one issue I have, because then when I'm cold, I just want to eat. I don't want to drink. We up to Mikey. 
semi-secret, not secret, looking at maybe uh, moving my mom around and getting her out of her house. So long story short, my E30, which we've done a bunch of videos on, is at my mom's house. And since we opened the gym and COVID and stuff, she hasn't got as much love as she, uh, she deserves. So we got a young Ogie here who's helped me with everything, but now he's gonna fix the car. So we're gonna try to get this, <laughs> we're gonna try to get this thing running. Um, one, because I miss it and it's in terrible shape. Yeah, let's go out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if this gets me out of here, Eddie. Does this get me out of here? I don't know where the hell I am. <laughs> so then we're gonna go yeah, fix the E30. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't say yeah. Yeah, that way. There's two. He forces. says that way. Uh, so we're gonna try to fix that, get it running, and either park it at the gym for now to give my mom some breathing room as she starts to figure out what she's doing with her house. Uh, but either way, um, maybe a year goal is to get this thing pretty. Um, finances are a little low because we keep shoving it into the gym. Mikey's finances go to the community and I'm not on some altruistic, I don't want to pat on the back, but I'm just saying that's why my car's in a shit position. But I'd like to fix it and then I'm going to run this stupid thing, this is my daily, to the ground and then, and then it's more investing. So we got that restaurant coming, we'll update you on that. We're going to put a little bit of baby money into E30, hopefully get it uh, purring. And then... Uh, and then we're going to get into more investing and hopefully bring you guys with me. I, I did a Q&A on Instagram and a lot of folks seemed interested in business content. And I'm, I have no claim to be a business guru, but I have been around a lot of smart people and learned some things. So uh, comment below maybe some of your business questions and we can do a business Q&A. But for now, let's get E30 pretty, which is kind of an investment. You know, it's a 33-year-old car. Once it's pretty, it will add value. It's not going away like most cars. One to ten, how is it? Okay, one to ten, how did you think the car would be, top to bottom? Four, three, three. You thought it'd be three, a three. Three point four. So you might, you thought maybe this is just like you can't breathe life into it. Like we had no shot bringing this thing I back. I mean, I thought it was gonna be um, CPR bring life into it. I'm not the yeah, you resuscitate. Yeah, we need to <laughs> clear. <laughs> yeah, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. yeah. Hit it. Okay, and then you saw the exterior, the interior, and we got her turned over. I saw the exterior. You saw the interior? Exterior. I mean, when walking up, I thought it was like a, it got worse. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so we saw the exterior. One to ten, what do you think we were at? About like a three. But I sent you a picture. But it was it was better in the picture. But they're always better in pictures. Yeah, I sent you the picture, and I tried to get the shit on there because it's been sitting yeah. at mom, so it has some moss on it. It's got they a little got a, more than they got a whole farm. Okay, and then and then you <laughs> saw the interior, which I never sent a picture of. Where eight. are we at? One out of ten. Like, a, like an eight. Oh, yeah, like yeah. it definitely ain't a, a pristine. Oh, it's clean. It's but clean, it's, clean. it's clean. There's some cracks. Yeah. There's some little shit. It's still clean though. But it's clean. Yeah. All right, and then engine, and you took a look at the tranny. You looked around a little bit. We got it turned over. Where are we sitting now? One to ten. I give it like a seven. Okay. See, it gets a pass. That's where it is right now. Yeah. Okay, now it. overall, top, outside, inside, and engine, what's our potential? Potential? Yeah. Potential different. Potential, we sit at like a nine. Because some cars... Yeah, potential a nine. Some cars have no potential. That's true. Right? Like, you show up and you're like, dude, this thing's not going to be dope. I give it a nine, because like, it's really not that bad. So we can bring this thing back to life. 100%. Almost show can ditch. Okay. Uh, maybe not show can ditch. A but nine like, out of ten <laughs> show can ditch. Okay, we, but I was like nine out of ten, like, cool sports car, daily cruiser. Okay. That's what I was like a very, very mint daily cruiser. Like get get a lot of looks. Yeah, like you know, get a coffee. A few, a few might be like get a stuff. coffee. I can do that on my feet. What does that got to do with the car? I was making a storyline. Oh, go know, ahead. Never mind. No storyline over. You ain't getting no looks. Okay, no more. so or it... <laughs> <laughs> it's got some potential. It's potential. It's got like that you you the dude at the corner that everyone knows has like the cleanest car on the block i could have the cleanest car downtown i bet okay i don't know about that well look around well, i've never seen no witch because hunter. they're hiding them inside these garages of theirs nah all right wrong that's cooler wrong. than my e30 hey, go ahead go ahead that's right. not cooler than that my is E30. cooler than the e30 no dude that that 
Good. You taking that over my E30? Dropper, period. When my E30's fixed. Period. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. No one wants that. Dude, that was hot. No, an E30 is hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Subjective. No, no one thinks that's hotter than an E30. You want to put a poll up? Well, I mean, I'll put it on Instagram. <laughs> It'll be a poll and people are going to probably vote. Though. It's going to be closer than you think. No. I bet max 80-20. I bet max, or no, I bet it's going to be 60-40. To the E30. No. Uh, to that? No, no, to the E30. To the E30. So I'm still right, for one. And then two, <laughs> I will run that poll if we look up whatever Go ahead. fucking car that is. 60-40. That was a bus. Look, it's a Volkswagen bus. Yeah, it, yeah. Looks like a, it looks like a 70 or like And 60. mine's going to actually drive better. Okay. No way that thing drives dope. They don't drive dope, but they look cool. E30s look cool and drive dope. That's why they're beautiful. No, with the motor you have, it drives dope. Even the four silly no, handles four nice. sucks. If a handle's nice. Doesn't mean it doesn't drive not that good. All right, with my engine. Yeah, my E30. The potential here. The potential here. Like I said, it's a 9. I give it a 9. All right, thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a long day. Shout out to Map, Ogie, Genesis. If you guys are in Northern California and need some tin, some wrap, and some help on your whip, um, hopefully we'll get that thing some life. We got a trip to Ohio. We're going to the Arnold. I'll see you all there. Um, I won't be at a booth or nothing, but I'll be cruising. So if you catch me, you catch me. Uh, and then when we come back, maybe we'll give that thing a life again. If you enjoyed kind of a full day vlog and car vlog, um, let me know. And we'll do more videos like this, and we'll show you more of the car stuff and talk some more business on the back end. Uh, if you don't, get the fuck out and go to another YouTube channel. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you, man. We over me, saw the mic. We're out. Uh, new videos Monday and Thursday. We'll catch you all there. See you at the Arnold fam.